Now we'll talk about the applications of Joule's heating. It's used in electric heating devices like electric toaster for toasting your breads, electric iron and for in electric heaters. So in this appliances and nick chrome which is an alloy of nickel and chromium and it's used as a heating element. The reason is uh, it has a high specific resistance, it has high melting point and it's not easily oxidized. That's why nichrome is used. And fuse wire. Fuse wire is an alloy of lead. It's about 37% of lead and tin of 63%. And this is connected in series in an electrical circuit. The reason for using is it got high resistance and low melting point. The next application of Joule's heating is in electric bulb. So in electric bulb the resistance of the element or filament in the bulb is high. The quantity of heat produced is also high. Therefore the, the filament is heated to incandescence and emits light. So tungsten with a high melting point of almost 3380 degree, 3380 degree Celsius, that's used as a filament. The filament is enclosed in a glass bulb containing some inert gas at very low pressure. Now we'll talk about electric arc. The electric arc and electric welding also work on the principle of heating effect of current. In some cases such as transformers and dynamos, Joule's heating effect is undesirable. These devices are designed in such a way as to reduce the loss of energy due to heating.